Well, it took me a while to understand my father today. Anyway, uh, since it's Sunday, here is 6 p 16 p.m. I will uh, read from a port whatever I find. Okay. I mean, a port with whom I began my professional trade as a port. And I closed with another bard of the same wearable. Same, so from since the 90s, from, from Dylan Thomas to R.S. Thomas. Now, to the 22, 23. So, what do you got here? Dylan Thomas. He died around uh, 20. Uh, excuse me, he died around 53, 54. Yeah, 27th October 1914, 9 November 1962. Dylan Marley Thomas. As a Welsh poet. So, he was a Welsh poet and writer whose works include poems do not go gentle into that good night when death shall have no dominion. So, let's try to find him online at the port. Party Foundation. He's a big shot. And I will stand if I can because the mic has not such a long wire. So, uh, the first. that I want to, to read remembers me of, uh, of, uh, of time and me uh, let's read this So, I cannot rise up because uh, the poem is long. Now I lost. Okay, let's try. Before we mother naked fall, poem eleven in notebook started twenty third August nineteen thirty three, dated September sixteenth, nineteen thirty three. Before we mother naked fall upon the land of gold or oil, between the raid and the response of flesh and bone. Our, our claim <coughs> is staked for once and all, near to the quarry, although 
well before the promises fulfilled and joys are pain. Then take the gushes or the field when where all the hidden stones are gold. We have no choice, our choice was made and for our blood, and I will build my liquid world and you before the breath is cold and doom is turned and veins are spilled your solid land choose the field of brick and bone or the dark well of the brain take one away let one remain okay now let's read this do not go gentle in that good night I'd say more do not say do, do not go good into that gentle night do not go gentle in that good night old age should burn and rave at close of day rage rage against the dying of the light the wise man and their end no dark is right because their words have forth no lightning day do not go gentle into that good night good man they last wave by crying how bright their frail deeds might have danced in a green day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Wild men who caught and sung the sun in flight and learned too late they grieved it on its way. Do not go gentle into that good night. Grave men near death who see with blinding sight, blind eyes could blaze them like meteors or, and be gay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. And you, my father, there on, sad, on the sad height, curse, bless me now with your fierce tears, I pray. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Shiloh Seed, poem 6 in notebook, started 23 August 1933, dated August 29, 1933. Shiloh Seed shall not be sown in the garden of the womb by a salty dropsy sipping. No redeeming shall be born. No redeemer shall be born in the belly of a lamb. Dumby and divinely leaping over the good bearing green. From the meadow where lambs frolic, rises every blade, 
the Lamb from the heavens falls a dove now is sun and summer foliage promise is its fear limb and the baby God is teeth teething bone and flesh is too through the flood gates of the sky grains of sea shall be dropped loose manna from the hungry globe quickening for the land and sea setting in a virgin sleuth it shall hammer at the rib wall of wood of sail of hay Princess seed shall find a harbor, a hundred wombs shall say him nay, a hundred virgins hide him. May a humble village lamb labor and the continent deny, a hemisphere may scold him and the green plot be his bearer. The wren may warm him in her nest, a water catching cover. One falling grain, it knows not why, and diggers find him in the dust. With falling night, a savior, a savior with the break of day, falls and is found, falls and is lost. Its veins are flowing with a juice, it matters no if wood or brass. Or man or woman chances upon a fallen grain. If veins are dry, the fortune changes. If flesh hangs ragged on the bone, the miracle shall change its face. Life must steer before the seed and before the twilight slip. Brass must shudder, water swirl. Sap must rustle in the wood and the dove shall feel its crop. Before the brazen, brazen dove is woe, and the wooden lamb is God. Shiloh's seed shall not be soon in the pastures of the worm, not in the fanatic womb shall the jelly mix and form. Then that that sh that shall be the three in one ghost God and ghost anointed son. <sighs> okay. Well now I'm getting up and turning myself away towards the east and see the nice white uh, build, color built of the jail and I'm pleased. Uh, prayer I should say whether you say yea or nay, that God was now with us, named by Silent Thomas. And I pray to you be good and behave. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Even for just to go.
And uh, as a word of, uh, after liturgy, a word of wisdom, right? Jesus, Jesus Christ, the Shiloh, right? Well, Jesus was not a poet. This is very interesting. And, uh, you know, poets, they have their own world. They appeal to some people, but not maybe to a minority. But uh, Jesus was a practical man. He was a healer, a doctor, uh, a rabbi, and stuff like that, and uh, a worker. Uh, and a, a worker and a peasant, something like that, at that level. Because if you want to make a building, you must work it. If you must make a crop, you must uh, do to, to know the rule of the world. Uh, and maybe the Beatitudes are his poem. But I cannot think of another. Maybe the poems, it's a response to the chant of Mary. And that's it. God bless you.